laughing to himself, talking excellent to himself. He'll be enjoying for small jokes also. He'll be very loudly laughing and he'll be kind at the same time. He'll be isolating himself from others. He'll be uh, staying in the room alone and he'll keep on lying. He'll be stealing the money from the home. He'll be doing all these things. The change previously you, have to, uh, you don't have to like judge him that you're taking you're taking this you're doing this just sit, sit at him sit to him talk to him what's going on with him and inquire in the school what is going on him and uh, exactly see what happening with the kid then you will know what, what is the point they are taking it how they are taking it how they got got introduced from where the point exactly started so that you can go there go to the depth of and you can solve the issues and these days for detecting 10 kinds of drugs it's simple dip, dipstick test where you uh, dip a paper in a urine so that you can deter determine the drug which is which the child is using. This can be done at home also by the parents. And uh, uh, the responsibility of the uh, school uh, as it is the most of the kids they spend their time whole lot of the time in the school. The responsibility of the school is as equal as the parents what they have. At the school also they should be very worried about why the kid is previously well studied child uh, who is mingling with others now started avoiding studies. His uh, scholastic performance, whatever he was doing well in the studies, is going down. He is not mingling with others. He is not with his peer group has changed, and he is becoming more irritable, more aggressive, or is becoming very silent. All these are the signs and symptoms which can be noticed in the children who are taking drugs. And when you are identifying these kind of things, you should be able to address your kid. Every parent has this attitude. Even if an, even if I, if I have a kid, he will have, he will have, a, even I will have this attitude saying that, not my kid. This is not my kid. My kid won't do this. My kid is not uh, not this kind of kid. They see, keep on saying this. And even when I see these cases, even uh, they say this, I don't know where he got it from. Every kid is vulnerable because they are at vulnerable age group. They are not adults. They are not tend to take their own decisions. They are vulnerable at every situation. That's why it is the responsibility of the, both the parents as well as the school teachers of school to guide them properly to not uh, what are the uh, positive ways to get into the society, what are the negative ways to go into society, what can happen to you, what are the goods, what are the bads going to happen, what are the how the people behave around you and you should be understood and what it's lacking in India is uh, most of the westernized countries they have the education about the drugs, the, the early part of education always includes the drugs in that but in our syllabus there is no sensitization towards the drugs in the, PR, in the early teens or teenage groups. So sensitization is also very important in the schools as well as with the parents so that they don't go, uh, get into the districts and uh, I latest updates ki subscribe chayandi alage bell nokkandi